Hello, my name is Navigator. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a priority mail package from eBay containing a big assortment, or I guess the term is lot, of old WWE action figures. And one of the figures in here, at least in my opinion, and honestly, according to the pricing, is a pretty rare figure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this thing open and see what we have inside. So let's do just that. I have my trusty knife here, and I'm gonna take this and try to slice it open as carefully as I can. Uh, these figures are all loose. I will say that there's nothing in box, but one of them, at least to me, is pretty rare. Uh, it has a decent price range, and at least for me, it's been one that I've wanted for a very, very long time. I did make a video a while ago talking about this person and why I might only really want a couple figures of them, but in talking about that, I do believe I mentioned that there was one that I did want and actually that is inside here. I couldn't find a good price for it, but it should be in here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna quit my rambling. We'll just open this thing up and uh, let's see what we have inside. Looks like the, the seller packaged it very well. I'm gonna make sure that I have this all folded down so it doesn't really get in the way of anything. I don't knock over any of my figures in my setup. Get the packaging all out of here. And I know this is, uh, this is keeping the surprise awaiting, but here is this massive bag of WWE figures and they're pretty much all Jack specific but there is one in particular and I think I see it there that I am looking for so let's get this out of the way Adam Cole is is trembling there he's trembling there for a second let's open this up and we can kind of start going one by one so I'm gonna lay it down over here get my chair ready and we'll take these out one by one. So starting with one of the ones I did really want, this is going to be the Jax Pacific uh, RVD. Now I will let you guys know, I'm not exactly super well versed in these figures, so I'm just gonna say Jax Pacific as kind of an over, excuse me, overarching thing for these. But this right here is going to be Rob Van Dam, and I love the printing he's got on his single here. That is so cool. I don't have a lot of these figures, aside from uh, one of them that we will kind of get to in a second here, but this is super awesome. This is actually my first Rob Van Dam figure. I'm waiting on that Ultimate Edition, really waiting on the Ultimate Edition, or if AEW uh, ends up making one for him, but this is really great, I gotta say, in very nice condition as well. So we'll throw him right there, and he should be able to stand pretty perfectly. And let's reach in here for the next one, which is going to be the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And there you have it. That's a really great head sculpt on him, I have to say. That is really touching Ric Flair. That is really looking like him. That is incredible. Uh, I was kind of hoping this one would have the, the four horseman hands like I have with the uh, the Elite. Where is he? Right there. You can see his blonde hair right there. I was hoping he kind of had that four horseman hand, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like these ones are actually interchangeable, so maybe he did. But overall, pretty basic aside from that great head sculpt, and then he's got kind of the RF on his trunks and on his boots. But overall, this figure is super awesome, and I'm glad to have it in my car collection so we'll throw him down there right next to Rob Van Dam and pulling this next wrestler out when I saw the lot I wasn't exactly sure who this was and to this day I can't figure it out and this is going to be that figure I think this may be Harley Race maybe who is this oh it says right there Cade Murdoch Cade Murdoch I can't say I've ever heard of Cade Murdoch before, but hey, it's a nice figure to have, and maybe this uh, maybe this kind of cut-off uh, plaid thing will come in handy with another figure. But there you have it. He's got a kind of a worn tattoo there. i got to do a little more digging on this guy and find out who he is. Great to have this figure, though, I'll tell you that. So there's that. And of course, I think I said it before, I did get this lot from eBay. And here we have, I know this is going to be a tag team with John Morrison. And John Morrison is included in this package, but I have no idea who this is. I'm assuming it's just a guy that he tagged team with before. Or it might be John Morrison with just a terrible head sculpt. But let me compare it to the next one which is John Morrison, we'll kind of figure that out. But if you guys do know who that guy is or, or this guy, please let me know in the comments below because I gotta be more well-versed on my wrestlers. But digging in here, let's pull the next one. This old kind of basic John Cena. I'm not really sure what line this was from. Looking at the bottom, it seems to say, yeah, Jack's Pacific. So this is just an old Jack's Pacific John Cena figure. Huh. 
Pretty cool. There you go. Nothing too special. I do, I have been wanting a John Cena figure, but I'm more going towards the elites as opposed to stuff like this. And reaching in here again, the next one that we're going to pull out is, of course, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And I do like this kind of black gear that he's got going on. Very good. And all these figures are in very good condition. They're not sticky. They're not super dirty. I do have to thank the seller for that. Very great. They're all in really, really good condition. So here is that Heartbreak Kid. And honestly, guys, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Until we get to this kind of holy grail figure for me, I really don't care about these. Don't get me wrong. They're super cool. But you know me. I really love collecting figures with a lot of articulation. So these are probably just going to be for display really only. Or maybe I'll just keep them in a box. Who knows? But digging through here, the next one we're going to pull out, a recent addition to AEW, which absolutely blew me away. That is going to be Edge, or Adam Copeland, the rated R superstar. And actually, this figure has a lot of detail. He's got one of his tattoos there. Of course, he has more, but that's kind of his most famous one is that like star or sun thing that he's got on his, what is that, left shoulder. A lot of detail on the tights and the pants here. Looks really great, I gotta say. Uh, and yeah, nothing really more I can really touch on about that, but the head sculpt's pretty decent. I will, I will give it that. But yeah, so there you go. Really great ring attire. We'll throw him down right there in the front. If he'll stand, beautiful. And digging in here next, like I mentioned before, is going to be John Morrison. You can tell by this head sculpt, this is definitely John Morrison. So I have no idea who that other guy is. But man, some of these arms, the articulation is not that great. I'm not going to break it. So we're just going to leave him with his arm up in the air. I'll kind of focus on that a little bit later, I guess. But there you go. John Morrison. I'm not sure if that's kind of dirt or grime or if that was like a blonde streak that he had in his hair. But there you go. So yeah, a little tag team pack, I guess, uh, from the old Jax days. I'll have to figure out who that is once again. Digging in here. Uh, kind of lining up with Shawn Michaels, of course, we have to have Triple H, and there he is, right there. I kind of like how he's got the HHH there on his thigh. Kind of weird, I guess, but it's a little unique, and uh, he looks pretty good. I have to say the head sculpt really captures him a lot with that handlebar mustache, uh, and then he's, of course, got the Triple H thing on the back of his uh, tights right there, or his little, what do you call it, the trunks, whatever you want to call it. And we'll throw him there right next to Edge. And then digging in here, the last figure that I can get to before the one that uh, really this video is all about is going to be another recent addition to WWE, a full roster member. This is going to be Carlito. Carlito, I don't really know too much about him, but this figure is really cool, very detailed. I love the purple. I love all the detail on his trunks and the palm trees and all that. That is super cool. Get it? Cool. There you go. So that's Carlito right here. And the last thing we can touch upon before getting to the figure of the hour is going to be the accessories that were given to me with this purchase. What we're going to do is just reach in here and pull everything out one by one. These actually go to a 12-inch action figure. I used to have ones like these, these boots. These aren't really WWE, so I'm going to throw these to the side. But inside here, we have a bunch of different accessories. What I'm going to do is I'll just honestly just dump them all out here on the table. We can look at them one by one. We have some, uh, looks like just elbow pads and knee pads for a lot of these guys. I'm sure they're just loose accessories. So honestly, let me take the belts away. And these are all just literally knee pads and elbow pads. Nothing really too crazy or in particular. But let's look at these belts here. I'm not even sure. Oh, well, I guess we'll see that later. But here we go with the WWE Championship. You can see right there the WWE and the champion. Although there's so much embroidery going on, it's even hard to tell what this all is. But these will be great. I'm glad to have... And I mean, I, I know I said I'm not really going to be using these a lot. But it will be nice to have some belts to put on them. Just to kind of have them gleam and have some gold on them. And then, oh man, looks like somebody his dog got into this one or burnt or something but i'm not sure if this is the oh okay so these are these are supposed to be the tag team titles this one's just a little bit more worn than the other this one's in pretty good condition but yeah so we have a world champion and the tag team titles that i can kind of uh throw on these figures whenever i feel like it but folks here we have it and oh picking it up oh it's in pretty good condition oh it's in really good condition i am so happy i'm going to straighten this out for you guys and keep you guys in suspense because I want to make sure that it looks perfect when I throw it on camera. Oh man, I am super happy. And a lot of you guys might not be happy, but I am, because I've wanted this for a long time. But this is going to be the Jax Deluxe Aggression Chris Benoit figure. And there you have it right there. Now, I did make a video very early on in my channel talking about my most controversial action figure, and that was an old Jack's Pacific Chris Benoit that I had. I'm not going to go into why the controversy. You guys know why. You know who Chris Benoit is. But I... 
I'm trying to figure out how to put this in a nice way. I love Chris Benoit's entrance, entrance music and the whole Wolverine gimmick. I like that a lot. It's super cool, and that's why I like Chris Benoit in ring, in his WWE career. I'm not a fan of what he did in real life. I'm sure you guys understand that. But this figure, in my opinion, is the best Chris Benoit figure ever created, and that is because of all the articulation. Now, on top here... It is very similar to all of the Jax figures like we see here with these kind of uh, single jointed elbows and whatnot, but the head sculpt is incredibly detailed even with his beard and he's got the missing tooth and all that. I think it looks phenomenal, but what really takes the cake is not only the yellow tights, but the articulation that we have down here. This is when Toy Biz made these. So you can see there's so much articulation, double jointed knees. He has uh, the ball joints at the hips. And, oh man, it's just, this is the mecca of Chris Benoit action figures. And he honestly is pretty tall. I will have to say a lot taller than the other Jack Pacific figures. But guys, this is the entire reason that I bought this bundle is because of this figure. I've really wanted this for a very, very long time. And what I plan on doing is maybe throwing this on a shelf next to a couple of my actual Marvel X-Men Wolverine figures and kind of have it as a little bit of an inside joke. But guys, that is going to be it for this big wrestling box whatever review whatever you want to call it but there you have it that is going to be my prized possession of chris benoit action figures and i don't really know how you guys feel about that but in my opinion now that i have this genuinely i know i said it in my previous video but genuinely i will never have to go sorting after or finding another chris benoit figure again but guys thank you so much for watching once again we got john morrison mystery tag team partner Shawn Michaels, Triple H, John Cena, Ric Flair, what was it, Cade Murdoch, Rob Van Dam, Edge, Carlito, a couple tag team belts, and the Ruthless Deluxe Aggression Chris Benoit figure. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.